All right, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone and salutation to you, brothers, that's pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Okay, so the, just the just the video. Let me see if this pulls up. It's an older video. And um, some encouraging words, you know. So uh, I'm just going to bring it out. Now, you know, this is an older video and um just wanted to speak, you know, on waiting upon the Lord, waiting upon Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah and your sufferings. Okay? Because that's what we signed up for. Okay. We signed up to to uh uh wait upon the Lord, even though you know it's certain things that you know brothers want rest, all right? Brothers, you know, brothers are depressed, brothers are stressed in this faith, you know. But at the end of the day, man, we're, we're living, you know. We live in the Lord, and we got to wait upon the Lord. We got to wait upon Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and our sufferings. This is what we signed up for, all right? If you, if you want to be uh, of the elect, okay, your faith is going to be tried. Because we know, yes, we're going to get Edomites, so-called white people. We're going to get them in slavery, okay? We know that, you know, um... The chariots are going to come. That America is going to be destroyed. Okay. that we, uh, f uh, Like the prophet um, Isaiah spoke of in Isaiah 4 and 1. Seven women taking a hold of one man. Which actually is a complete number. You're going to have many many women. I right, wanting to be with a man of the Lord. Okay. The man of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. The most sought after men on the earth. You know. With the glory of the king. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. By these rough words that we speak <laughs> Alright Because when the destruction comes When the society starts to collapse And this destruction comes It's coming at the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai And who we preach And teach the name of Okay With faith Okay So I'm just going to bring out this uh, scripture In uh, Lamentations As a matter of fact, let me um, read this real quick. Um, this is uh, Lamentations 4 and uh, 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall be passed through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. And this is a scripture of prophecy. All right, because it's the prophecy of Edom, the daughter of Edom. Which today we know them to be the so-called white people, okay? What you would call so-called white people, or Caucasian, all right? That dwelleth in the land of us, the cup. Now we know in the scriptures that the cup represents slavery, okay? When you see this word cup, and this is another scripture that you you can um matter of fact, it's uh the book of um let me see the book of um Psalm. Let me see, let me get it real quick. Because these Edomites, they're going to drink of the cup, okay? They're going to their 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 society is going to collapse, all right? They're not going to be be able to be in rulership anymore. And we're we're seeing the prophecies. We're seeing that Yahweh Hashem Shah is making these things made. Um, he's making these things manifest, and they're going to be seen before men. These words that we speak, okay, which are not our words, they're the words of the Bible. It's going to be passed, all right, unto unto Esau Edom. This is Psalm 75 and 8. It says, For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of the mixture, and he poureth out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth, shall wring them out and drink them. Okay, so the Lord is going to make them drink of the cup of his wrath. 
All right. The cup of the Lord's wrath is going to be um, drunken. Okay, by these Edomites, the so-called white people. All right, that the Bi that the, the Bible calls them the wicked. Okay, it's, it's not in uh the book of Job twenty um twenty and uh uh Job I'm sorry Job nine and twenty four says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and who controls the earth right now? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom, which is going to drink of the cup. Okay, which is the indignation of the Lord. All right, and part of his the Lord's indignation is putting them in slavery, putting them in subjection. Okay, putting them at the bottom. Okay, of the nations, they're gonna be beneath all the nations. Okay, they're gonna be beneath the Arabs. They're gonna be beneath the so-called Chinese, the Japanese, and 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 amongst all things, they're gonna be beneath the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for what they have done in the earth. And that's complete and that's simple. And that's what we have to wait upon. We have to wait upon the Lord, like the brother had mentioned in in the video. We have to wait upon the Lord. All right, to, to be able to bash these Edomites into the stones. And that's all according to the scriptures. That goes back to Psalm 137. Bash their little children in, but their, their little children's heads in. All right. Um, um, you know, make them turn them into alligator bait. Basically, do what they have done unto us. And this is going to be given of the Lord. Okay. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. So you see, our punishment is accomplished. Okay? We tr we sinned against the Heavenly Father and the Lord. Uh, he, he brought forth his wrath. We had the drink of the cup. All right? The indignation of the Lord. So the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. And everybody's all mad because our punishment is accomplished. The Lord is going to show grace unto his men. All right? But everybody's all mad and they're going to they trying to come up against this word. They're trying to take brothers out off the uh, Internet. OK, for proclaiming the gospel of that. Our punishment is accomplished because that's the gospel. That's the good news. So-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. We're not going to be punished no more. All right. All these sh shootings, all of these, um, um, you know, um, black so-called black on black crime or, you know, us killing each other. That's a part of the punishment, the wrath, and the cup that we had to drink upon the of, of the Lord, and that punishment is accomplished. And now these so-called white people they're getting mad, okay, that our punishment is accomplished, all right. And they don't want they they want us to be punished for forever, because if we're punished forever, they're going to still be in rulership. So it says he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And that's what's happening. All Esau's sins is being brought forth via the internet, via men on the highways and hedges. And, and, and also these different events that's taking place in the earth. Okay. Domestically inter, uh, and internationally. All right. His sins are being discovered. All right. And the Lord is going to visit him for his iniquity. So, you know, we have to wait for these things. And, and in the midst of us waiting for these things, we suffer for it. But we signed up for it. We signed up for it, so we have to do this. We have to we have to deal with this, this uh uh this this um this thing that we signed up for. That's why we we're, we're catching hell. That's why we gotta catch hell. We have to catch hell. And the more we catch hell, the closer we get to uh, uh to salvation, to seeing the things that the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai have made manifest. All right, unto the men that have eyes to see, we're, we're speaking. Now, man, I'm just, I'm just um, let me do this real quick. Um, let me see. This word real quick. Now, this is the scripture that I was reading. Now, this is Lamentations uh, 3, verse 26. All right, it says, matter of fact, I'm going to start up. I'm gonna read um three and uh I'm gonna start at twenty two. Lamentations three and twenty two it says <clears throat> It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. So you gotta keep into consideration the Lord's compassion, all right. Hey, it, it's not gonna fail because the Lord is gonna be merciful unto the men that believe in him. You know, like brothers, when you 
you get into this word, you know, you signed up for 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 catching hell. You signed up for you know being in streets and and all types of things. But the Lord Yahweh Shai, His compassion is gonna fail not. All right, the Lord's gonna have compassion on His men for doing this work, you know. And this and this work is not of us to do; it's of His calling. Okay. Matter of fact, verse um, twenty says, "My soul have them still in remembrance, and is humbled in me." This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. Alright? And this is our hope. Our hope is in his word. It says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Alright, the Lord's compassions are, are, are new every morning. Okay? Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion. Save my soul. Therefore will I hope in him So we have this word Hey look Yahweh Shema Shah is our portion That he's our inheritance Alright He's our inheritance Okay that's He's something that we're working for man Alright Therefore we signed up for it And we have to go through what we, Whatever Whatever we have to go through We have to go through man It says the Lord is good unto them That wait for him To the soul that seeketh him Alright and keep in mind, man, the Lord is good unto them that wait for him, all right, to the soul that seeketh him. It said, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. So we're hoping and quietly we're waiting for the salvation of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Now, this is the next scripture. It says, it says, this is uh, 1 Peter 1 and uh, 6. It says, it says, wherein ye greatly rejoice through now for a season. If need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. And you have brothers that's out there going through certain things, you know. But look, greatly rejoice in those things because you're only going to deal with this for a season. And right now, this is the season that we suffer. With patience, we wait. All right. That's why it says, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. All right. Let me go back to uh, 1 Peter 1 and 6. It says that the trial of your faith being more, much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah. So we're coming into it. We're coming into the time of the peer, the appearing, okay, the appearing of Yahweh Shah. All right, and the more and closer and closer Yahweh Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, uh, Yahweh Shah draw nigh. All right, the more and more suffering. Okay, that's why this trial of our faith is going to be much more precious than gold. Okay, you know. Now, verse eight, it says, "Whom having not seen, ye love, because we ain't see Yahweh Shah with these eyes." All right, you know, some brothers have seen him in the, in the spirit. You know. In the, in the night in a in dream You know Not even knowing Or you know You know being scared Or, or whatever You know Cause when you see the angel Like you, you just You know you just like It's like uh, when you see an angel You know they're not fair to look upon Alright But let me keep track on this It says whom having not seen ye love See we all have We put that image up of um, Yahweh Shah at the, at the highways and the hedges But you know that's just the depiction you know, in our mind, you know, you try to think of Yahweh Shah according to the Book of Revelation, but it ain't, it don't even go as far of, as far as when we actually see him. All right, but when he appears, man, brothers gonna see him. All right, but whom having not seen, ye love, ye love because he sacrificed for us to get this understanding, this spirit, this portion of the spirit. It says, on whom, in whom though. Now ye see him not, yet believing, all right, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable. Yeah, we don't see him, but we believe, all right, and we rejoice unspeakable, full of glory. All right, the words, we can't really speak the words that we want, want to speak, okay? You know, or or even even if in our mind, you know, but we rejoice unspeakable because we have Yahweh Shah, man. Brothers, you know, start with the elder apostles. Even though the world hate us, we have Yahweh Shah. All right, Yahweh Shah understand what is being done. All right, he knows that 
you know <laughs> hey you know brothers got to be slandered and you know these are the things that we have to go through in the flesh all right it says receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your souls so after once all of this is said and done and Yahweh Shah at the appearing that's the receiving of the end of of our faith all right because he's going to re return he's going to be a dark-skinned man all right and he's going to fuck these Edomites up all right this is um first Samuel's 2 and 7 it says it says the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich he bringeth low and lifteth up and that's what's going to happen it says he he raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them yeah it says he will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength shall no man prevail amen that's why look that's why it says it is good to wait all right it is good it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the lord it is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth all right and you have men that have you got to bear your yoke in the youth in your youth man all right at your strength you got to come into subjection to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all right that's what you signed up for that's why you going that's why you brothers is, is catching hell all right brothers is going through certain things and it's going to intensify all right but it has to come and you got to rock with it you ain't got no choice all right you ain't got no choice but hey and you doing that and you going through that you know um you gotta uh you rejoice with joy unspeakable all right verse 30 27 it says it is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth he sitteth alone and keepeth silence because he hath bore it upon him so you know you signed up you you got into this work you know you pushing this word all right he sitteth alone and keepeth silence because he hath borne it upon him. You know, you have borne it upon you. And what does the word born, born mean real quick? Natal. It says to lift, bear, bear up. To lift, lift over, lift upon, set up. To bear up. To lift, bear, bear up. You got to bear up, man. You know, you bore it upon you. <laughs> you took this word upon you, man. You got to bear up, man. <laughs> you got to look to receive the end of your salvation. The salvation of your soul, man. That's what we're looking for. That unspeakable, full of glory. At the appearing of Yahweh Shah. Dark skinned man. He's going to jack these Edomites up. Hebrews 10 and 35 it says cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward your confidence okay once you heard this word you heard of Yahweh Shah alright Kwam Yashra Allah you know you was in, in fact you like the elders and the apostles you know you say yo look I, I'm, I'm gonna do this some brother said you know if I don't do this the Lord's gonna kill me you know this once you hear this man it's like you gotta do it that's why the scriptures say what it's saying uh let me get this real quick. It's Revelation 13. I mean 3. 3. 3 and 15 I believe. Yeah it says. um, I know thy works. That thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm. And neither cold nor hot. I will spew thee out. Of my mouth. All right, so you you know you we do that, brothers, man. The the true sincere brothers, man, doing this work, you know, they're doing this work out of sincerity, you know, out of love, out of out, out of for Yahweh Shah, you know, Yahweh Shah revealed his understanding. So some some men heard this word, they they was like, fuck it, I'm not you know I'm not gonna mess with it at all. That's being cold, you know, and then you got some. Some brothers that look, I'm gonna go all in and in, in, in on this thing, you know, you know, I'm gonna give what I can give, you know. I'm gonna serve my time, all right. And this is a life commitment, 
All right, this this thing is a lifetime commitment. <laughs> it's a lifetime. Um, this is a lifetime job, man. It's like the mafia, the 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 mob, the spiritual mob. All right. It says so. Then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. All right. So lukewarm. You know, lukewarm is not good, man. Lukewarm is not good. Um, you know, it says, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. All right. Now let's go to the next scripture that I wanted to bring out. All right, because you know we're coming into this time. Well, matter of fact, this is. Uh, let's go to this real quick. This is our uh, First Peter's one and twelve. It says, unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them. Let me read up real quick. Yeah, this is a uh, matter of fact. Yeah, this is um. I'm gonna keep on reading. This is our uh, First Peter's one and nine. It says, "Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that shall come unto you." All right. So the the grace, all right, that shall come unto us, was 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 prophesied of Isaiah. Was prophesied of um, you know um, we read Samuel, you know. Cause going back into Samuel it says he raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory, for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and He have set the world upon them. All right, you set the world upon them, the pillars of the earth. All right, the 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 inheritance of the throne of glory was prophesied. Okay. Men have men have looked for these things, all right. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that shall come come unto you. And that's what the Lord is going to do to those men, all right. And I believe this is uh, Hannah speaking, all right. And men have prophesied of the pillars of, uh, of the earth. They prophesied of the inheritance of the throne of glory. All right. Yahweh Shah said, In my house there are many mansions. All right. It says, um, it says, He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces. Out of heaven shall thunder, shall thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth and he shall give strength unto his king and shall exalt the horn of his anointed. All right. And that's those men that, that faith have been tried. That's those mighty men. You know. What else did I want? I wanted to go into this last scripture. This is in, in in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Um, try to make this video too long, real quick. But this is one Wisdom of Solomon. Two. And I want to read twelve. <clears throat> now I just brought this. I was just bringing this scripture out because I was talking to a um, to a brother. And um, what we was talking about we was talking about like Esau You know Esau You know he wanted Basically this is Esau's agenda Or whatever You know that we gotta be tried Okay this is um, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 12 it says Therefore let us lie and wait for the righteous Because he is not for our turn And he is clean He is clean contrary to our doings He upbraideth us with our our offending the law, hey, because um, you know, as our job of going on the high, on out there on the highways and hedges, we speak up against Esau, Edom, and we bring out his offending of the law. Okay, the the, the so the Edomites, all right, the rare Hebrew Edomites that have broke every law, 
in the Bible. <laughs> There's not a law that they have not offended in the scriptures. All right? An objective to our infamy, infamy, the transgressing of our education. He professes to have the knowledge of the Most High. And he calleth himself the child of the Lord. And Esau does this. Esau does this. He professes that he has the knowledge of the power that we speak of. All right, that's why you have Volcab Malone coming up with that the theological doctrine and his madness that he speaks and he can't get into prophecy. Hey, going back to the the, uh, the woman Hannah, going back to what Hannah said, all right. It says the wicked shall be silent in darkness. When when Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shem Shah start bringing forth this judgment, Guys like Vocab Malone and you have uh, people that putting their money into trying to stop this word They're going to be in silent darkness You know, you got different groups behind counter groups, behind counter groups Behind closed door meetings Coming up to uh, come up against this word of Yahweh Bashim al Shah And that's going to be the time where they're going to be silent in darkness Alright, going back to uh, verse um, King Solomon Because you know, and this this is this scripture is twofold. You know, said because it says he professes to have the knowledge of the power, and yeah, we profess to we have the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Shah. It says he calleth himself the child of the Lord. Yeah, we call ourselves the children of Israel. All right, but they call themselves the children of the Lord too. But they're the children of Satan. It says he was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. We are esteemed of him as a counter as counterfeits. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed, and maketh the boast that Yahweh is his father. Yahweh Bashim Yahushab. Because that's what we do, man. We are esteemed as counterfeits unto the so-called white man. They don't believe that we say that we're the children of Israel. Alright? It says he abstaineth from our ways as from filth. And we know that the, the, the ways of the Edomites are just filthy. They they have filthy ways, man. Alright, all their ways is the ways of filth, corruption, lies, deception, okay, propaganda. Alright. It says he pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed and maketh his boast that Yahweh is his father. Let us see if his words be true, and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of Yahweh, he will help him and deliver him from the hands of his enemies. All right. So that's why we're going to be tried and we're going to be tested. All right. It says, let us examine him with the spitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with a shameful death for by his own saying, he shall be respected. Alright Hey so You know Yahweh Bashim Shah Is gonna protect his men You brothers that's suffering in, in his faith man Hey hey With patience man We supposed to suffer We signed up for it So with that I'm gonna give all praises To Yahweh Bashim Yahushah Bashim Akakwadash Our double honesty Apostles and elders Of Great Millstone And salutation to you brothers That's pushing this word In sincerity and truth Until the next episode Shalom all